Prepare to be amazed by these futuristic train concepts. In this video, we'll introduce you to groundbreaking projects that could revolutionize the way the world moves. Solar-powered trains represent a significant advancement towards sustainable mass transit. They harness the sun's energy to power operations, either directly via roof-mounted panels or indirectly through off-site generation fed into the grid. This not only reduces reliance on fossil fuels, but also promotes clean energy use. The benefits include lower greenhouse gas emissions and operational costs, although the feasibility depends on sunlight availability and initial installation costs. In sunny regions, the potential is substantial. Just look at the Byron Bay Railroad in Australia and the solar power train trials in India. With the right investment, solar power trains could truly transform mass transit into a greener, more sustainable system. What do you think? Could solar power be the future of our railways? Next up, let's talk about active suspension in trains. This advanced technology enhances ride quality, stability, and speed by dynamically adjusting to track conditions using sensors and control systems. Unlike passive systems, active suspension anticipates and reacts to track changes, improving passenger comfort by reducing vibrations and jolts. It's especially crucial for high-speed trains, maintaining comfort and safety at high velocities. Plus, active suspension keeps carriages level and stable, lowering derailment risks and reducing wear on tracks and wheels. This means lower maintenance costs and longer track life, significantly boosting the overall efficiency of rail networks. Imagine a smoother, safer ride every time you travel. Have you experienced the difference active suspension makes on a train ride? Now, let's dive into drone-integrated freight trains. This concept revolutionizes transport efficiency by solving the last-mile delivery challenge with a dual-method approach. Trains act as mobile logistics hubs, transporting goods efficiently over long distances using established rail networks. Meanwhile, drones deployed from these trains handle final deliveries directly to customers, bypassing traffic and logistical obstacles. This integration optimizes energy use and maximizes the carrying capacity of trains while leveraging the agility of drones for precise deliveries, especially in remote areas. The benefits? Swift delivery of critical items like medical supplies and quick adaptation to fluctuating delivery demands without increasing ground transport capacity. This system promises to enhance supply chain responsiveness, reduce road congestion, and improve overall efficiency in freight logistics. Do you think this could be the solution to our delivery challenges? Have you ever imagined trains that travel vertically? The concept of vertical trains proposes a novel solution to urban congestion and space scarcity in densely populated cities. Instead of traditional horizontal travel, these trains would operate vertically or near vertically, potentially scaling skyscrapers or mountainsides. This innovation could directly connect ground levels with upper floors of buildings, reducing the need for elevators and enhancing urban mobility. Technologies like magnetic levitation or advanced cable-driven systems would enable efficient vertical movement, with adjustable cabins ensuring passenger comfort and safety. While still futuristic, this concept aligns with urban development trends towards vertical expansion, potentially transforming transportation and urban planning in the future. How do you think vertical trains could change the way we navigate cities? Let's move on to energy harvesting trains. These trains aim to capture and reuse wasted energy, addressing inefficiencies typical in conventional rail systems. Unlike vehicles that burn fuel or use electricity, trains dissipate energy as sound and heat during operation. Regenerative braking is a key method employed, where kinetic energy during braking is converted into electrical energy instead of being lost as heat, thereby reducing overall energy consumption. This stored energy can power various train operations or be fed back into the grid. In urban rail systems, frequent stops enhance energy recovery. Additionally, piezoelectric materials embedded in tracks generate electricity from train weight and motion, useful for station operations and signaling. Wind turbines mounted on trains or along tracks also capture energy from train-induced wind, further supplementing power generation. As these technologies advance, they promise broader adoption across transport sectors, enhancing sustainability by transferring innovations between cars and trains for efficient energy use. What other energy-saving ideas do you think could be applied to our railways? 
Modular trains are another fascinating development in rail transport. They introduce flexible, customizable configurations that adapt to varying demand and service requirements in real time. This innovation allows individual train carriages to be easily added, detached, or reconfigured, enhancing efficiency and capacity management. During peak periods, additional modules can be integrated to accommodate more passengers, while off-peak times enable downsizing for optimal resource utilization. The ability to mix different carriage types within one train, such as passenger, dining, cargo, and luxury compartments, further enhances versatility. Automated coupling and decoupling processes minimize operational delays, potentially occurring at designated stations or even while in motion with advanced docking systems. While requiring infrastructure upgrades, modular trains offer cost-effective options for enhancing rail networks and improving service flexibility without extensive downtime. Could modular trains be the key to more efficient public transportation? Hydrogen power is another promising alternative for trains, addressing the environmental impact of traditional diesel and electric-powered systems. Produced through electrolysis using surplus renewable electricity, hydrogen enables a sustainable energy chain. It proves especially viable for non-electrified rail lines, avoiding the high costs of overhead electric installations. Converting diesel trains to hydrogen further cuts implementation costs, requiring only hydrogen refueling stations. Hydrogen fuel cells generate electricity quietly and emit only water vapor, enhancing rural area compatibility. Long term, hydrogen could be cheaper than diesel with decreasing production costs and maintenance savings. Although still in early stages globally, hydrogen-powered trains show potential for rapid emission reduction in rail transport, complementing ongoing improvements in electricity production. Do you think hydrogen could be the fuel that powers our future trains? Suspended sky trains, also known as hanging trains or monorail systems, represent a growing trend in urban transport solutions aimed at addressing congestion and space limitations. These systems typically feature a single rail track or beam with train carriages suspended beneath, gliding above street-level traffic. While not entirely new, advancements in technology have improved their efficiency and appeal as smart mass transit options in busy cities. Powered by electricity and stabilized by gyroscopic forces, suspended sky trains offer a quiet, space-efficient alternative to trams and metros. They can utilize clean energy sources, reducing emissions and promoting mass transit over personal vehicles. Compared to underground metro construction, building suspended sky trains is often less disruptive and costly, making them an attractive option for expanding urban transit networks. Can you see suspended sky trains becoming a common sight in our cities? Virtual coupling technology promises to revolutionize train operations by allowing multiple trains to run closely together without physical connections, using wireless communication. This system uses train-to-train -train communication protocols to share real-time data on position, speed, and acceleration, enabling each train to move autonomously yet in coordination with others, similar to a flock of birds. The main advantage is increased line capacity, as trains can travel closer together, enhancing frequency and overall capacity. This is particularly beneficial for dense urban networks where tracks are often congested. Virtual coupling also improves service flexibility and scalability, allowing trains to join or leave convoys dynamically. Additionally, synchronized movement leads to smoother rides and reduced energy consumption. While implementing this technology is complex and still in development, advancements in autonomous vehicle technologies suggest that similar solutions for trains could be feasible within the next decade. How soon do you think we'll see virtual coupling on our train networks? Finally, let's explore the plane train hybrid concept. This envisions a vehicle that combines the speed of flight with the accessibility of rail travel featuring retractable wings or tilt rotor technology for seamless transition between air and ground modes. This hybrid could drastically reduce travel times on routes lacking direct flights and where train journeys are impractical, offering direct service without transfers. Significant infrastructure changes, like rail tracks at airports and runways at railway stations, would be needed. If implemented, this hybrid could alleviate airport congestion, reduce short-haul flights, and optimize urban and railway infrastructure, bringing passengers closer to their destinations. This concept, while ambitious, 
could redefine travel efficiency and connectivity in the future. Do you think the plane train hybrid is a feasible solution for the future of transportation?